Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Got another fresh pod review for you guys today from my buddy, Mr. Jim Duffy over at Refining Fire Chilies. You can find him at superhotchilies.com. All right. Going to be uh, reviewing another one of these seven pot varieties today. And uh, this one, everybody, is the seven pot burgundy. The Trinidad seven pot burgundy pepper. It is a capsicum chinense, beautiful uh, burgundy type color on this pepper. I get this camera to focus. Let me go ahead and read a little bit about it on the um, the website. Come on, camera. Oh well, enough time. Uh, the seven pot burgundy gets wrinkly pods that ripen to a nice burgundy color but the outer skin is more smooth than the traditional seven pots some say it's because there is too much habanero in its bloodlines the heat is hot but not as hot as a barack pour or a jonah okay good to good to know that uh, the flavor is fruity but very different than a red seven pot variety the peppers can get golf ball size and if started early will produce a lot the seven pot burg burgundy chili plants can grow to a height over four feet tall if you like the taste and productivity of seven pot chili plants, then try this one. All right, well, let's go ahead and get right into this. I want to take a look at the, the insides. Wow, it does have kind of a, a fruity smell to it. And thank you, Jim, for sending this one. I believe I um, requested this one. This was a special, re special request. Um, knife looks pretty oily. Oh wow, this one looks uh, looks like it's got some oil in it. Mmm, wow, this has a very strong um, chinensi type smell, but just something a little bit different about it that just smells a little different. Uh, it smells pretty hot. Actually, it, it's uh, it does seem to smell uh, sweeter. If I can get a hold of this thing, see if, see if I can do my one hand again. So here we go, everybody. Take a look at the insides on there, the placenta. There we go. Okay. Get a good shot of that inside. Doesn't seem to have that very, very many seeds. Nice and ripe. Nice burgundy rich burgundy kind of color. So here we go, the seven pot burgundy. Woo! <clears throat> I wanted to chew that one up a little, a little bit longer. Um, very unique taste. Seemed to be a little bit thicker walled um, than most of the seven pots I've tried. Has definitely has a fruity flavor to it. It is um, to me. It's totally different than a seven pot. I'm trying to get better at describing the flavors of these peppers, and um, it's not that easy easy to me for some reason um 
I mean, there's earthy, there's fruity, there's floral, um, there's acidic, there's battery acid, <laughs> but uh, this one definitely doesn't taste like battery acid. Um, all over, um, kind of stingy, a little bit stingy, fiery hot burn all over the mouth, roof of the mouth, uh, front part of the tongue. Um, it seemed to have maybe, um, maybe even a slightly um, vegetable type uh, flavor to it, along with that slight fruitiness. But it's still a super hot. So you're going to get that, that captation uh, taste as well. Uh, this has got my eyes watering, as you can see. Super hot. I think I'm going to really enjoy the burn on this one. Unique aftertaste. But it had a unique smell to it. Um, Maybe I could describe it this way. So maybe uh, on the aroma, um, maybe the, the regular Capsicum Chinense uh, super hot smell, uh, but something a little bit spicy about it. Slightly sweet and spicy. And maybe that's kind of coming through on the flavor as well. Uh, but it's at the, the roof of the mouth on fire. Uh, tongue underneath the tongue a little bit back part of the roof of the mouth so it's super hot but really it's something a little bit more unique about the flavor and the aroma on this one um, uh, it sounds funny but I, it's something spicy about it slightly sweet and spicy just something different peppery even the the burn on this one is a little bit different I can see why maybe the uh, maybe there is too much habanero in its bloodlines because it's got a little bit more of a stingy um, pins and needles kind of um, burn on the tongue. Maybe that's it. Yeah, it's funny how it, um, some of these peppers just really burn differently. Uh, this is unique. But the heat level's up there. I love the seven pot flavor. I like this one as well. Very good, but it's it's different. Whew. Different burn too. This one's even kind of more, maybe a little bit on the front, outside of the mouth, just a little bit. Wow. Not a very painful burn, but just a, um, a super hot, yet yeah, slightly stingy at the same time. Not on the back of the throat at all. This was all mouth and all tongue, <clears throat> for sure. Back of the throat, tonsil area, nothing. Okay, I definitely think it's peaked. Great aftertaste as well. Yeah, it's definitely not as hot as the Barak pour for sure, or the from what I tasted of the seven pot Jonah, I didn't taste one raw. <sighs> but the seven pot Barack pour just has some killer heat. <sighs> this is very unique, unique burn, unique flavor, unique aroma. Very good. Great job on this, uh, Jim. Okay. I think that's been long enough. Excuse me. Woo. This one's going to burn for a little while. Got a nice endorphin rush going on. Saliva kicking in. 
But yeah, kind of a, a best way to describe it, a little bit uh, slightly sweet um, vegetable type of uh, taste on this one. So, uh, but great job. I really enjoyed that one. Thank you so much, Jim, for sending that. Everybody check out Mr. Jim Duffy. Super nice guy. And he's got some super hot chilies at superhotchilies.com. Proud to offer the rarest and hottest chili seeds, plants, and fresh chilies. Great website as well, Super Hot Chilies. So if you need some information about how different uh, way peppers are categorized and, and pictures of them and descriptions, uh, awesome website for that. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Until the next time, don't forget, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys on the next review.